Today, I'm going to give you five tips that are going to help you instantly improve inside of Counter-Strike 2, and they're going to be things that you can actively do within seconds to make yourself better. You're going to have a better understanding of the game by the end of this video, and you're going to be able to rapidly improve because Counter-Strike is a game that takes a while to get better at, but there's some things that you can instantly change just from listening and hearing it from a more experienced player. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post videos every single day so that you never miss out. Let's get into tip number one. So the first thing that you you need to be doing in order to instantly improve inside of this game is use proper settings now there is so many different types of settings you can use so many different ways you can play but too many of you just do not have good settings at all you're playing on some fortnite resolutions you're playing on stupid sensitivities and, and bad stuff and i'm telling you there's a range of things you can use there's no right way to play the game but some of you are literally so bad at this game because you are so stubborn that you have to play on just the worst settings now i'm not going to give you uh, i'm not going to tell you exactly what to do i'm not going to tell you you have to play on this resolution but if you want to copy what i have i have a video on all these different settings on my channel you can search across lots of good stuff but i'll just show you briefly for me i play on 4x3 1280 by 960 very most common professional resolution there is out there these are my video settings right now you can copy them if you want pause the video um audio settings whatever make sure you have a good headset that's something you can instantly improve too and then also just your crosshair guys your crosshair is so important and i'll do my best to link my crosshair down in the description of this video if you want to use it just get off of these weird crazy crosshairs and just use something normal trust me these are going to be things that instantly make you better but you know one thing that can also make you better in this game is counter-strike 2 skins you know what they say skins equals wins so listen to this thank you to the sponsor of today's video skins monkey they are the greatest and easiest to use automated cs2 trading site with it being christmas season there is no better gift to give yourself than a new cs2 inventory they offer a 35 percent bonus for every cash deposit and a free five dollars for 100 dollars worth of trades when you use my code code joe skins monkey provides an instant way to get new skins with tons of great features. Skins Monkey is offering a free gift to everyone right now. You can get a completely free CS skin, up to 50% deposit bonus, or a free balance on the website from your gift. The first gift is free and the others come just from trading on the site. There is zero hidden tricks and you only need a Steam account to participate. I received a nice M4 and UMP from my gifts. My favorite part of this event is the advent calendar, which gives you a gift every day. You can receive a deposit bonus, XP, and tickets to a giveaway of 13 skins for 13 winners called Santa's Raffle. This is your chance to win knives and cool skins. I hope you all enjoy these Christmas giveaways and joy from Skins Monkey. Make sure to use my code Kojo for huge bonuses. Okay, let's talk about the second thing you can do to get better at Counter-Strike instantly, and that is binding your grenades to your keys. So for me, on the side of my mouse here, I have two buttons. One of them pulls out a smoke, and one of them pulls out a molly. If I press Q on my keyboard, it pulls out a flash, and then four pulls out an HE. Use whatever you want, whatever's comfortable for you. Look up what most pros use. Um, but I find having these macros on the side make it really easy and fast. Whatever it is, just do that because scrolling to get all your guns, I still have a bound just you know in case I need it, but scrolling to get to all your weapons is garbage. Stop doing that. Bind all of your stuff. One is, you know, primary, two is secondary, three is knife, bomb is alt for me. And it's gonna instantly, it's gonna be hard though, right? It's not gonna be easy at first. You're gonna mess up a lot because you're like scrambling like Oh, what, what key is it? What am I supposed to do? But once you get this down, guys, it's something that you'll never look back from. You'll never wish that you just use scroll wheel to find your guns and weapons. It's so bad, guys. Like, honestly, get off of that. Put in the time to learn how to do that. You're going to instantly see improvement because it's going to be quicker to throw things. Like, I can throw a molly, a smoke instantly. I can throw a flash and then throw another flash just like that. You can't do that while you're scrolling. You can't. And you look like a noob on top of that. So just stop doing that. Now, the third thing that we're going to do to become better instantly is using mouse field to jump. Now, this is so good to use because it's going to allow you to have better movement. And uh, it's just it's just so smooth. It's so good for B hopping and getting that timing down because you can spam it right when you're using scroll wheel. You can sit here and spam it. You can use up for, you know, jumping or down for me. I prefer down. It makes more sense to me. Um, so, you know, it just makes it so much easier to hit different movements and, uh, you know, get those timings down. So instantly you'll improve with that. Um, uh, again, something I, I'm so happy I did. I never look back from it at the beginning. If you want, you can bind space and mouse wheel. So you have both, uh, for me, I have space as crouch jump. It's like a little bind you can have, uh, not important, but yeah, you can still have both. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. So don't let anyone tell you otherwise. What the heck? Did you guys just see that? Yo, 
that was a crazy movement. Imagine you're in a fight with somebody and yoink. <laughs> Sorry, that's so off topic. My, my, my. Back to the video. Back to the video. The fourth thing that you're going to do to improve instantly is stop quick switching and reloading so much. What is quick switching in Counter-Strike? It's when you're constantly pulling stuff out. So like for most people, it's pulling out your knife, right? So you're, you're coming here and you're pulling out your knife just to look at it and do things. And you're just sitting here with your guns. Look how annoying this is. One, your teammates are going to hate spectating you. It's just so annoying when somebody's just constantly cycling through their guns and doing this. You know, it's like you can't hold still. You, you can't. You you have attention problems, right? Like you can't you can't keep yourself uh, in focus, right? Like you can't do it uh, when you're quick switching. You need to stop doing that because it's bad because they could walk in on you on a bad timing. And then also for the reloading part, guys, stop reloading so much. One, you know, you're gonna tell them where you are, whatever. But you don't need to reload, right? Like if you have 15 bullets, 20 bullets, don't reload. That's totally fine. You don't need to with that, right? Reload when you're in cover, when you're not doing anything, right? Like if we're in T-spawn, you know, and we have our nades out or something. But when you're like actively fighting people, like Sam out here, boom, got one kill. Don't sit out here and reload as we're running through here. I see too many newer players, even players of thousands of hours, get a kill out here. And as they're running out of sight, they're reloading. Like they think they're going to cover and reloading, but guys, no, stop, stop reloading. You have 15 bullets, just keep going. Boom, now I got this kill. Now I've got 10 bullets, whatever, nine bullets. Boom, got another kill. Now I reload under cover and reset. Stop reloading preemptively. This isn't Call of Duty. You're not reloading after every kill. Wait till you get some kills. Wait till you do stuff and wait till you're completely undercover. Not halfway undercover, not halfway safe. Wait till you're 100% safe or you run out of bullets. And then if you run out of bullets, pull out your you know, pistol if you're in a, in a bind, right? Like say you're fighting somebody, boom, you run out of bullets, pull out your pistol finish them off you already hit them right it's pulling out your pistols faster than reloading and that's where our binds come into play too you don't have to keep scrolling right you don't have to scroll to get to your gun you literally just click two boom he's dead simple as that wow now we reload or pick up his gun and we keep going oh we have a glue now right, nice let's go so yeah instantly improve with that number five last thing that we can do to improve one subscribe to my channel but on the real note stop making so much noise instantly this is something you guys can get better at instantly. In Counter-Strike, when you're running around like this, they're going to hear you and players are gonna know where you're at and they're gonna be able to have such an easy fight on you when they can just see, they, it's like they're seeing you through the wall because of how loud you are. Guys, you're running around, you're dropping things on the ground, they can hear that. You know, you're pulling out mollies, they can hear when you light a molly like this. Um, you're reloading, like I said earlier, you're jumping. Uh, guys all of this stuff they can hear stop, stop being so loud right <laughs> like literally stop being so loud and I, what you need to do is don't crouch around never ever crouch around this is how you know someone's brand new to the game when they're crouching around like this but walk around when you're walking you make no noise none none whatsoever right and when you're walking around like this it's very effective it's very good and even you don't have to walk but something you can practice is uh jiggling right so you know we're combining the two i'm walking but i'm also like when i get to a corner i'm jiggling this makes no noise as long as you don't take more than like one or two steps right once you go past that it's going to make a audio cue and they're going to know you're there so these have been five tips that you can use to instantly improve inside of counter-strike 2. make sure to check out my channel i've got lots of good stuff that will teach you how to get better more in depth i got some good motivation on there some good tips you know nades anything you need it's on my channel so really check it out i post every single day so i'll catch you guys later check out these two videos you see on the screen right now and i'll catch you guys later peace out